a horror me hearty so welcome to video number five so it's good to be back with you guys hope you've had a interesting first week of Easter holidays although it probably doesn't seem like that as it's been two weeks already off school. This week I'd like to talk about some things we can do to again be more interactive with the church at the moment as we're not able to go on a Sunday. One of the ideas I had is to ask people within the church elsewhere at the moment some questions. If you can please come up with some ideas for questions and send them to simon at muttleybaptistchurch.co.uk and then I'll ask them, I've got a few people in mind and then they will send me hopefully back a video and we can just work through the different answers um, and see if there's any interesting nuggets we can draw out of it. Also, there might be some funny questions you want to ask. Uh, it be interesting to see how they, they get answered. But please do send these questions in so I can ask them. If you don't send any in, they'll be all my questions, so you're going to have to live with that, I'm afraid. So it's quite an important week in the Christian calendar, and for that reason I thought I'd do a couple of things differently. Let's go outside and see what's going on. So I thought I'd come outside and uh, read the Bible passage. This one is obviously to do with Easter, and it's really interesting because it's actually Jesus predicting his death. So this is from Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 19. Now Jesus was going to Jerusalem. On the way, he took the twelve aside and said to them, We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day, he will be raised to life. This is an incredible prophecy from Jesus about the future and what he has to go through. And we're going to be looking at this further. But I just thought I'd come outside in this beautiful surroundings and just read these out to you because it's a very, very poignant passage about how Jesus knows what's going to happen to him. Can you imagine knowing that you are going to have to die? This is a weird thing to think about. And Jesus knew this from, I guess, the very beginning, being the Son of God. He was able to push through it, tell his disciples that it was going to happen, and they didn't believe him really. Predict all the different events that were going to lead up to the crucifixion, and then actually have to go through it. Have to go through the punishment, and then of course, the actual crucifixion. The story obviously doesn't end there. Jesus is then raised from the dead. And it's incredible to think that he did that all for us, for the love of us. He did it so we could be with God, have a relationship with God, and love God. So I just want to encourage you guys again, sit in a place, maybe in a quiet place, and read that chapter I read out in the garden. Matthew 20, 17 to 19. And just really reflect on it. Try and understand maybe the feelings that Jesus was going through. Maybe ask your family or friends if you see them on, online. Questions about it. Yeah. This is not a, a small story. This is a big story. We get told about it so many times. That I think we take it for granted. And yeah, it's this time of year we, we think about it in more depth, but to be honest, we think about it every single Sunday, really. It's the gospel, it's the good news that Jesus came to save us, to help us. It's even more poignant in this time right now when we think there is no hope. This virus is, is yeah, it's not, it's not very nice at all. It's causing us to have to do things we probably don't really want to do, but you have Jesus, and Jesus died for you. So I'm going to show you a video now. This is from last Easter when I got the opportunity to help a friend out who's a youth worker up in North Devon. Climbed up to the highest point on Dartmoor, which is coincidentally the highest point in the southwest. Yes Tor or High Willays, depending on what, where you believe it to be. It's an incredible spot. We went up there before sunrise. We had a bit of communion. We did a, did a bit of worship and, some, and prayer. And then we just watched the sunrise. So this is the, the footage of the sunrise itself. You can see it, it's a time lapse, so it's over a, a longer period of time, I've just condensed it. And again, if you want to watch this video over again and just see how God's love um, 
just cast light in the darkness. Hey guys, so I'm going to set you a challenge for this week. Um, as it's Easter, I'd like you to make a cross. You can make it out of anything you can find around the house. So that could be um, baking it or crocheting it or even just making it out of inanimate objects. I've uh, gone into the garden and found some twigs and I've made one out of wood. So if you guys could uh, come up with something a bit more creative than I have uh, and send me the pictures to simon at muttleybaptistchurch.co.uk and then I'll post them behind me um, when we're doing our talks and maybe even choose a winner if, for the most creative idea. But guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I just uh, pray that you guys can find the Easter an incredible time of hope, even though when we're stuck at home. So guys, thank you very much. Stay safe and take care. Bye. <laughs>